and yet even more LED lights. But I've already covered uh, this style of light uh, with the three one watt LEDs, but what's interesting about these ones is that this is one, a red LED light, yellow, green and blue. But the one that's really interesting is the yellow. Just going to move those to the side. And the reason the yellow is interesting is because the LEDs look very yellow inside. Now, normally with a gallium arsenide yellow LED, it's one of the least efficient sources of light. The yellow LEDs are always just a wee bit bland looking, but this one really punches out tons of light. So I reckon that it's based on phosphor and gallium nitride technology, maybe blue or ultraviolet stimulation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop it open. It's the same construction as usual. You can see uh, the disassembly of one of these, uh, a warm white one, um, in one of my other videos. So the three screws come out. I mean, you'll see it all again here, obviously. Uh, the little metal plate comes off the front, and it's holding in three of the little clear plastic reflectors. So there's the LEDs, looking very yellow inside. And I'm going to um, get a meter in here. And I'm going to set it up with a current limited supply here. And I'm going to light one of these LEDs and see what the voltage across it when it's lit is. So the, currently the open circuit voltage across this is about 7.9 volts. It's a 9 volt battery, it's running a wee bit low and it's got a resistor in series. So I'm just going to poke this in here. And that's a really rich yellow. And the voltage across it at 20 milliamps or so is 2.7 volts. And that points at it being a gallium nitride emitter. And that makes sense in a way because if you consider that white LEDs are actually a blue LED with phosphor on the surface and the blue uh, stimulates the yellow phosphor um, and the blue and yellow together make white, then it makes sense that by adding more phosphor, um, a thicker layer of the phosphor, then yellow becomes the dominant colour. And uh, that's probably what they're doing here. It's a good result. I wonder what the... Uh, I mean, ultimately, it's going to degrade faster with than a traditional gallium arsenide LED would because it's got the phosphors involved. But it, it's quite a neat uh, result as it is. Now, just uh, in case other people haven't seen the, the other video, uh, this is what you find in the back of these. It's a little uh, switch mode power supply based upon a chip, usually a BP... 3102? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Dedicated 3 watt uh, switch mode power supply. Um, and that's typically what you'd find powering these. That's what's in the back of this one almost certainly. But yeah, that's quite a neat, uh, a neat thing to find.